it's not them saying, yo, man, we're going to make you untouchable. It's this man being in that position and, and liking power. You understand what I'm saying? If you, let me ask you a question. Sandusky. Okay. Let's yeah. use the worst, worst nigga of the worst. If I'm the assistant coach, I've been here for years. I've been working with Joe for years and I just been touching motherfuckers. Like I tried it a little bit and I ain't get caught. What am I going to keep doing over 30 fucking years? I'm, I'm not just going to touch these school. motherfuckers. I'm going to fuck them because nobody's catching me. I can. So it's not somebody. Good fellas, how y'all? Another episode of Pinky the Podcast. What's up? I'm good. I'm good. What up? I'm good. So recently, we all know Diddy's house was raided. Um, while his house was being raided, uh, he I don't think he fled the country. Maybe he was taking a trip out of country conveniently at the same time his house was being raided. He fled. Um, He fled. Okay. Yeah. um, (laughs) Let's call him Sean. Sean Combs. All right. Um, I don't know what they were looking for. They really haven't released anything of what they're looking for or what they found in his house at the time. Um, well, he's being investigated for um, for trafficking, not narcotics or anything uh, like that. Um, you know, uh, SEX, human mm, human trafficking sex. and stuff like that. Yeah, that's that type of stuff, uh, which is very serious stuff. So. So wow, yep, that is it. the last the last guy that the last guy that did that or was found to known to do that was found dead, yeah. hanging in his cell that he committed suicide in. Mm-hmm. Like I said, mm-hmm. last it's last serious. episode, we, yeah, last episode we did with this, I was talking about. How your contract could be up that you the deals that you make with the devil in the dark. A lot of stuff is coming out now about Sean, about these rooms that he was in, these rooms he was trying to take take people in. I was just watching the episode. I mean, I was just watching the interview with the rapper Cocaine. He was on Corey Holcomb. And he was talking about how how did he pick them up and they was going to different, they went to a party. And as they was driving, he had some pills in his car. You know, he pulled out the glove compartment. Uh, allegedly, what he said, it was some pills in there, ecstasy pills. Did he ask him, did he want some? Cocaine said, no, nah, I'm good. I only do weed. The rapper named he Cocaine said, said he didn't want any drugs. No, nah, he went, He only smokes weed. He said, West Coast do. So he said it went in the house. It was on like, it was like a three floors. Took him to the first floor. They was partying. Second floor. This is his words. It was some more hardcore party on the third floor. When he got to the third floor, he was like, "What the fuck is this?" He said he seen dudes in the corner kissing, other dudes in the corner engaging in sexual acts. He was like, "Yo," he said. Did he could see the uncomfortableness on my face? Because in my mind, I was like, "What the fuck?" Cause it was like, what the fuck is this? What's going on? He said. So then he said, "Yo, man, all right, I, you know, I'm gonna get you up out of here. You know, I'm gonna, you know, drop you off." This is his story. I don't know how true it is, so I ain't gonna say yeah, that's what actually happened. So, but that so, seems like a lot of thing, a lot of things going on, man. What What I need to so, know is this: Why is it that? And I, I'm not I'm not denying any of this stuff because at this point. We've been hearing about these things for years and we've been saying, oh, that's just a hater. That's just a scorned person who has stories and they're making it all up. I mean, there's got to be some credence to 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 these stories that to what Sean Puffy Combs is accused of. There got to be some credence. But what I need to know is why do you feel like you need to test every man? Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, if, even if I it mean, was a woman, right? I, I mean, let, let me ask you a question, right? I'm signing a woman. Yeah. And every woman I'm signing, like, might not be the cutest. Like, you might sign, you know, Cassie, or you might sign, 
I don't know, fucking um, Leslie Jones, right? Yeah. Why would I need to keep? Why would I need to take Leslie Jones to the same area I'm taking Cassie? Cassie is bad as shit. I'm saying this in the case of men. Cassie bad as shit. She's cute. I would like to, you know, do things with her. So I'm taking her and seeing what her checking her temperature. I'm not going to take Leslie Jones to the same place to check her temperature because I'm not interested. Why is Diddy interested in every man and wants them to be gay? Somebody got to tell me that. Well, allegedly. 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 Yeah. So from what I hear from, what you hear from a lot of superstars who, who, who try to escape these rooms is like, hey, you know, they try to take these men in these rooms to see where they can test their waters at with them. And after they do whatever they do with, you know, if the dude goes along with it, it seems like every guy who goes in that room blows up with fame. So I'm guessing he's, that's his weird way of putting people on. I, if that's the way you want to put, put me on to achieve millions, I want no parts of that shit. I'd rather, I'd rather live in, I'm doing well off. I'm doing what I love to do, making the money that I'm. I'm comfortable with making. I don't want to make beyond that because I was watching a, a TikTok with uh, Luke and Luke was saying, you know, speaking somewhat on this, he was like, look, man, when you walk, you like going in these rooms with these millionaires, he said, when you walk in these rooms, once you cross that threshold and you do, and you partake in anything that goes in that room, they own you from there. You can never go against them. He said, these are the same people that is running the fucking world, the government, everything. You can't turn against them. Well, yeah, you will be beyond a superstar, but once you turn on them, that's it. Well, let's let's be clear about what that clip was saying, uh, at least the, the little part of the clip that I saw. It was it wasn't so that the part wasn't about did. yeah, that part. Well, I mean, yeah, but but no, you know, what I mean indirectly, yes. Um, but it wasn't about sex at that point there's he's saying like hey if they feel like they can use you to push their products or push their like their corporations corporations it's not necessarily an individual but it's corporations who are ran by individuals who run the world which control the government and all that stuff that's assumed we know that but it's more about hey we are the people who are going to put you in position we see that you can be the person put in this position so we're going to basically appoint you in these positions. So, you know, in turn, you're going to get millions or billions, or you're going to be doing things that, you know, may seem amazing financially, but just as quickly as we can put you in that position, we can take you out. Right. Once you start speaking out against us and try to take us to court and making our, you know, making our lives a little bit more hectic than it needs to be. And we go to your manager, we talk to you, you, you flag us off. We go to your manager, your manager can't get control of you. Now it's time to end your shit because we can, and we can put somebody else there. So that's really what the, what, what I felt the clip was speaking on, which I think that could be anywhere. That could be anywhere. It seems like it's more prevalent in our community. Cause it seems like you really don't hear this from the white community or, or Asian community whatever you know you don't it's only our fucking community it's like yo it's like seems like some old slave shit it's like yo i can make you i can make you the house nigga and i can give you everything but the, the day you ever turn on me i can make you a field nigga just as quick as i made you a house nigga well let, let me let me just make and sure i'm gonna place you with another field nigga do you right. so are you saying that this mainly happens within the community of black people in the industry? Is what you're saying? Well, that's, that's what he said. It, that's I, what I'm saying. I'm, I'm trying I'm to make saying, sure I'm, I'm just saying, saying that because I'm saying that because all right, look at the case of uh, uh I'm name just saying there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of who, who? other celebrity high high established people in in any type of industry who have been called out for things like this this diddy is diddy is within a long list of people who are have either gone to court or going to court or have been saying yo this happened and this person did it and i don't see that many black people 
on this list with with money like that being able to do these things and then another thing is is that okay so we are the i would say we're we're the we're the little people we're the people who look at all these other people who are rich on tv or in music this that other they live a different world like dre said they're walking in different rooms they're crossing different thresholds right who's to say that in their world this isn't normal shit and when you get into this industry you walk into what you see them do on a regular who's to, who's who's to say that puff hasn't been doing this for uh, forever if he is doing this allegedly and the people that he normally does this with this is what they do they've been doing this for decades you know what i'm saying they introduced him to this game by doing that you know we we looking at it as i mean great, however you however you decide to look at it one thing is a fact none of this shit is is cool a lot of it is wrong right of course. Um, I'm looking. I'm going to start naming names. Go ahead. No, name names. What? Go ahead. Name names. I'm talking about far as black names. black people that you got Michael. You have at one point in time Michael Jackson, uh, who was technically uh, acquitted. I mean, they, the person said that it never really happened, and they lied. But go ahead. It was business too. But that was yeah, business ex- related. Yeah. But I'm saying. They tore, they tore, they tore Mike down. You got Bill Cosby, you got R. Kelly, you had Diddy. No, R. Kelly was had... nasty. No, R. Kelly was just nasty. R. Kelly he was, was nasty. He was he been nasty but, for years, bro. He's been weird he's been for a long time too, especially with all the, the stories. That people is, tell. Yeah, he's just he's been, been nasty. getting away. But the thing is, he's been skating. He, I'm pretty sure he's seen that room. He's been skating with the shit he's been doing for years. It's okay. This, you keep skating. No, uh, you skating. got tip. Yeah, you got yeah. tip. You got tip. You got like people like like how they tore down Tiffy Haddish. Um, yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, uh, eventually you might that was see. The same. That is the same. It is the same. They only allow one. Now nah, she said no to somebody. Yeah, she said they only let one black. They only let one black comedian in at a time. So. They build you up, they tear you down. Uh, let's see who else I can name. Um, I don't. I don't know if I agree with that either. Yeah, I, I don't think I would agree with I that. Don't know I think. That I think that's just something that it's people that aren't in the industry think. Like people like us who see it and say, "Oh," they, uh, and I don't think that's the case. Because if that was the case, there's no way that Robert Townsend, Eddie Murphy, and um, Keenan Ivory Wayans would be able to work together to do something like Delirious. You know what I mean? Like. These are three comedians, three I, I, I are working men who were in the industry, who were able to create something. I mean, I get the the point that you're trying to make, but I think that's just false. No, Let that's one that's, comedian that's, in. That's very fucking true. Time. Let's see here. You, everybody ever worked with Ice Cube? You had, and they're still around, but they all had they high peaks. You had, you had the uh, um, the uh, Chris Tucker at the time. That's just career. Next comes the, you're never going to stay at your bro. peak, and and everybody's going to peak at a different time. So it's it's no. I think so. We're going to get off of this because right, let's get off this just, shit. Yeah. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. But we're, we're beating a dead horse. But I think in the wording, that's where we have a disagreement. Because no, they don't just let like. I get it. We all want to have the establishment be like the person who the people who say what goes. But the truth is, there are more than one black comedian let in at a time. Everybody's career peaks and valleys at different times. So you might be at the height of the height, but white people are at the height of the height, too. So who's at the height? Who's at the height of the height right now with Kevin Hart? Kevin Hart is falling from the height of the height. Somebody yep. else is about to step into that role because <laughs> not because there can't be one at, at a time, but because yeah. it's just that, hey, we was on him for years, but now you said it yourself. We all said it ourselves. Okay, it's getting kind of old. We don't really want to see a stand-ups. He had 11 stand-ups and they kind of all do the same thing now. So it's just a natural order of things to go. Yeah. It's ebbs and flows yeah. in people's career. You you want to see Dave, you want to see every time Dave Chappelle drops a special, which he's dropped many, you would stop whatever you fucking doing to go watch one of them. You're right, right because that, he's but actually. But is Dave Chappelle at the height of his fucking, career? Dude, at the highest career was a Chappelle show, and he fucking. I'm pretty sure he walked away because he probably said no to a room. Let's walk in this room. 
Yeah, that's uh, you that, know who I, I'll say. Okay, you are I'll correct about you. that, but that's not that you, you're. I, I'm just you're saying. saying. It's, it's, I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that a lot of artists is coming out saying like, "Hey, man, you just had Nace recently say the same thing on his podcast." Yo, I stepped away because they wanted me to go in that room, but I was going to be. He said I was going to be the loon and who else he named the puffy. Craig Mack, he he named the all Craig Mack. He named all these people. He said I didn't. He said I did it. I stepped out because I didn't want to walk in that room, and I came back and did it my own way and returned to the money. What I'm saying, back to just back to Diddy, bro. It's like Diddy has been, yeah. This Jay Z has been there, and he's been like silent, but Diddy has been like everybody's like, yo, we got to be like Diddy. Diddy is like the gold standard when it comes into the rap music biz. Because I would a lot say, of people don't remember that with time. entrepreneurship. Uh, Diddy is okay, is not even a business I should... mogul, a business well, mogul that once. you look up to business wise. Rap, I mean, not really, but all around. That's I mean, think about it. He has alcohol, he has the music industry, he has uh, the label, he has uh, Revolt. You know, what I mean, he had all these things. So you looked at yeah, him but... like a business prodigy almost, yeah, the, the, the business prodigy was which I think was given to him because at the same time on his climb up, a lot of people don't remember. If you heard it was, um, Suge Knight, um, uh, 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 what's his name? Prince, um, Jay Prince. And I think it was him and somebody, it was a third person. I want to say P, but they all was trying to come together and start an independent thing. From the music Sir, business, where it's Irv Gotti, you remember this? How, who was the third person? It was Irv Gotti. Irv Gotti. All right, Irv Gotti. All three of them was going to come, come together and start something that was completely black owned, and start bringing artists in to get away from these bigger companies. Next thing you know, Doug is being investigated for his criminal activity. Uh, so is Jay Prince. Irv Gotti home is raided. They break that shit up. Oh, and who is but who is in? Today's sponsors are brought to you by in Ideas Unlimited. That breaking up. Do you have a birthday party coming up? Oh, Maybe a baby shower. On that. Diddy, Could be a got wedding Jay-Z, party. You got school so letting out. Could be a graduation party in mind. Two of them niggas was Ideas real Unlimited has it all from custom they 360 were. booths with backdrops <laughs> to <laughs> personalized throne chair with centerpieces. Clear. Them niggas was you like snacks. Fucking gangsters. Everyone likes snacks. Am I right? Niggas left them alone. Get your snacks custom made they, with they, your they face on it. They tried to fuck Ideas Unlimited can do it all and more. Get all your party needs at Ideas Unlimited. Your party one stop shop. So you can contact bad. them on Diddy Facebook and Instagram. Was Ideas on, Unlimited. A lot of people don't Proud know. Proud sponsor of the Opinionated Podcast. Shit. I agree with that. At the same time, Suge Knight was on some real gangster shit. I agree with that. Diddy had the same pull that Suge had. Yeah. But I, somehow, magically, his shit gets wiped away when he was doing the streets. They yeah. shit gets followed. He becomes this big guy. Jay Z, another big dude. Nothing against Jay, but Jay was a street dude and a real, a real street dude, a real drug dealer, really out there hustling and getting well, money. They say he's next. They said he's next. You get what I'm saying? You sign these, you sign these contracts, and they let you in, and they say, "Yo, once you get," because Diddy was starting to, you could see him starting to be on some old black, and you seen him start shifting to more black empowerment, mm-hmm. black black owned. Let's start doing this. Let's start yeah. only buying black. Da 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 that. This, oh nigga, you got shit fucked up. Mm-hmm. We put you in here to keep. Who got a phone near? Uh, who got a phone yeah, near a speaker? Krista, 
yeah. whoever has a phone or a speaker or a mic or I something. Well. I hear it. Oh, no, I've been hearing it. Yeah, it's not me. How about now? <clears throat> Keep going. Look. All right, so <laughs> think about it. These niggas, it was cool when these niggas was talking about popping Cristal, drinking Bell over there, Great Goose, and all this shit. But now you want to get away from Goose and get Ciroc? You want to get Ace of Spade? Well, yeah, he has Ciroc Fuck. with the white people. And you know he, yeah, he was taking him saying, but Just, this is a, That's important to the story, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, it's okay when you're pumped. We're the main black people are the main fucking consumers in the United States of every fucking okay. thing. Right. We right. are. So listen. No, I, I, I agree. Let's 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 get down to brass tacks here, right? When yeah. it comes when it comes to, to Puff Daddy. Okay. Two things that I had to say, and then I'll get to my second thing, because that that him taking the Ciroc people, the people he's in business with the court, is very important right now. Very important. But the first thing is. I think with these rooms that he always takes people in, can we be honest about that? Now, I do think there's some truth to it, but there's always men just waiting there for you to walk in to start kissing. I just want y'all to just try to... Let me let me ask you a question right now. Okay. <laughs> real shit. This is real shit. And it's, it's, it's going to come off like a joke, but it's not. Let's say I'm a record exec, and let's say I'm known for doing that. That means that I have a room somewhere even if it's in my house that's dedicated to just having men there waiting there's two things that could be that could be an incredible coincidence that this man is just that powerful to just have men to just have men on site or, or on on the ready no women no nothing just all men waiting like all right soon as did he walk in or right when he about to come let's just start kissing so that when he walks in we freak somebody out right which to me doesn't sound like a okay. doesn't sound real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not every man all the time. Y'all gotta wait. I got the kissing room that only men can go in that's running 24-7 whenever I land. Like, come on. Or that's some devil shit. Cause the devil can make sure that that shit is all the devil can make sure that you see whatever he is it is that he wants you to see in that moment. Do you understand what I'm saying? When I say that, yeah. Yeah, I, the devil can make it, sure. It that at any point in time, you can see what he wants you to see. That'll He's, scare you. And, and that's God also saying, hey, my son, putting his hand on your shoulder like, yo, please step back. This is the only this is the only time I can help you before you go in that den. With these snakes and these devils, you know. And what's crazy about that shit, is, that's the thing called, what they used to do, like, slave masters, which fucking devils themselves, it's called buck breaking. You, you, you break the buck. You break the strong black man by fucking performing gay acts on him. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, you break this strong, you take this strong, because most of these dudes that are rappers are hardcore street dudes. Especially the ones in the early '90s. Early '90s was mostly a lot of street dudes who found out that you can make money, a lot of money, by doing rap and kind of leaving the drug game alone. You can make more money just by saying some words. So you taking these strong dudes that is fucking probably out there running crews, doing shit, street dudes, and then you take them to this shit. And then you try to break them. And and the ones who do break is like, yo, I got you. How can you ever go back to your hood and say you this tough nigga? And I know you in here performing gay acts with men. You minds now. I got an well, agenda that I need you to push. And you're going to push it. it. Or these niggas is going to start finding out about your it, secret life that you live. Well, here's the thing. The gay shit been going around about Diddy for years, right? About about puff for yeah. years, right? So they say, all right, we can't do that. But the one thing you could throw on a nigga, even if it ain't true, is that child, that child shit. That's what they hit Michael with. Michael, like, all right, y'all can call. I, I don't know if they ever called Mike gay, but it's like 
I'm pretty sure that wouldn't bother him. Like he wouldn't like, oh, all the girls are not gonna want to fuck me now. Uh, like he didn't care probably because he's in a he's in this whole at the time he was in this whole like nigga I'm by myself. Like I, if I want to fuck a fan, I can make that happen. So it's not a big deal. You call me gay, whatever. But the child shit mars you on every level. Like it basically puts you in a untouchable position and you're probably guaranteed to die. I know we all heard the fucking the, um, the rumors about child molesters and shit like that when they go to jail. At least I've heard them niggas don't last at all. You either go to PC or on a so totally different yard where you don't even interact with the other people or when you get there, it's that's it. They're killing you. So you put that on them, it's going to stick. Let me let me ask you a question. Both of y'all can answer this shit. You think that's why Macaulay Culkin career got cut short because he testified on Mike's behalf saying he didn't do it? I don't think so. I think Macaulay Culkin probably got a peek behind the curtain and said, I'm good. I, I'm okay. Y'all can have this. Or or he had to peek behind the curtain. They said, hey, you do this on this guy. And you think these Home Alone movies is doing well. I got I got the next batch for you. But we can't get this guy Mike down. Do y'all think that happened? No. We can't take him down. No, nah? all right. I don't think so. It's a good theory, though. Don't get it wrong. It's a it's a it's a great theory. I, I guess it's just from me looking at Macaulay Culkin and feeling like he probably just had enough because he had a fairly successful couple years. He had that. He had the Good Son. He had he had a bunch of movies that were like like really big movies and then i think he just got tired of the shit so that's what it th i've thought that for so long that's why i can't think the other way but that's a good theory i gotta look i want to look into that i want to look into the mike case and macaulay culkin's career and then it's decent because i'm pretty sure if you look into that deeply pretty sure both of them coincide with each other but that's just a tin foil hat theory of mine so all right, why is it another thing I asked y'all? Why is it a thing? Kev, when Kev didn't answer. Austin, oh, go ahead, Kev. What you think? Hold on, I'm looking up at I'm looking at this Diddy shit right now, and I was about to ask a question about um about what y'all thought about him and his mom's relationship and how that may have affected the things that he went through. You know what I'm saying to, to lead him into the situation he is now, but <clears throat> I mean I don't I don't know, man. You didn't see that? No, nah, I didn't see it. Uh, Apparently, also, him and his gut. I also didn't hear a little bit of what you said. Probably the most important part. Well, I said no. Boost Mobile. <laughs> I definitely don't have Boost Mobile, but I was saying I was I was going through this uh this shit about Diddy and. Janice Combs, his mother, Janice Combs, and this weird relationship that he had with her, and and um, you know, I guess they're a certain type of vibe or whatever the case may be. But the way that she, um, you know, raised him as a kid, and how they said that they could, that could have affected uh, a lot of the decisions and the things that he's done, um, you know, now. So Maybe. the way she raised him could have could have affected. I mean, I don't know it's if anybody. you know. Yeah, but I, I don't know if you know about like Diddy's history, like his father and, and his mom and shit like that, like how she was a model. And um his dad was like um really in the streets. Right? Yeah, his dad was yeah. really in the streets, he was really against it. <clears throat> and he ended up being killed um in his car. I guess he, I, I believe he was shot in his car and nobody ended up, you know, figuring out how or what happened. Yeah. But he was really in these streets and I was thinking about what Kev was saying, like, yo, you know, previously, like, yo, Diddy was really in industries too. He had the same pool as Suge would have, the same power Suge had at the same time. And you, when I see shit like that, I kind of look at it like, yo, maybe a lot of that shit is, comes into play. Like, you know, his family's history. We don't, I mean, me personally, I don't know the whole scenario of how Diddy was raised, how he grew up, what he was into. When we started seeing Diddy or even knowing about Diddy was when Biggie came out. You know what I mean? Before then, we didn't know nothing about, or I didn't. I mean, besides him being a dancer, I mean either. Let's, me either. I just thought it was a, this nigga in the background, like Shook said. Let's that. assume. Let's assume this though, just just for conversational sake. 
let's assume that Diddy, because when I when I hear gangster and Diddy, I don't see the 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 same thing that, and this is what yeah. I was going to get into earlier. I don't see the same thing as Suge. I don't. Suge, I feel like is I'm the I'm the gangster in front. Nigga, you gonna have to you gonna listen to what I say directly. I'm talking to you. I pulled up on you, and and I'm the intimidating nigga. I'm the big nigga with the cigar. I ain't gonna say much, but niggas gonna do what I say. I'm gonna make. I forget who he tried to make drink piss or some shit like that. Like he he's that guy. He's like, hey, I'm the boss, and you're gonna know I'm the boss. I think Diddy is the guy who he's going to put the hit out on you so that it don't come back to him. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. He's he's the guy that if I want you dead or if I want something to happen to you, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to call the guy who's going to call the guy that's going to put the hit out on you. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah, he's I'm not even going to be the one to put the hit. I'm I'm a I'm a yeah. refer somebody that'll refer somebody that'll refer Correct. somebody. So it don't come <clears throat> back to me because I got well, the money to make this shit work. How much is it going to cost and how much does it have to trickle down? It's going to cost 150. All right, cool. Get it done. I'm going to give you half. I give you He's the guy that it's not going to touch him. But when it comes to the freak offs, I think he was just li- like that was his, that was his vibe. Like I'm not going to do the killing, but I'm definitely going to do the freak shit. That's just I'm. It just, I mean, it, I mean, I don't want to laugh because he, I don't understand. <laughs> well, he laugh. it's okay to laugh. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it, I'm just saying it's okay to laugh. It's okay. I'm just saying, that, I'm just saying like you walk into a room, right? And they, and there's things that they offer you. You know what I'm saying? They yo yo, you could. We're going to put you in a position to, you're going to be a mogul. We're going to make sure you have more money than you can ever think of. All the women you want. You could do whatever you like. We need you to do this, do that. Or you could do this and that. And then you'd be like, I'm going to do the freak shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, have the option to do it. But you already had it in your mind. Like, <laughs> no matter what happens when I walk through these doors, I'm going to do some freak going shit. with the freak shit. All the, <laughs> all the way through. You know what I'm saying? Parties and all that shit, you know what I mean? Like, so if they, do, if they don't offer it to you, you just gonna ask, well, "Do y'all got <laughs> I'm some make freak a, shit I'm gonna make an option. <laughs> <laughs> do y'all got some freak <laughs> shit? I know, I know y'all talking about killing people, but uh, is what about any, the freak is, shit? Is there any gay stuff involved? Because I'm into that. I mean, <laughs> if there is, you know, uh, like, <laughs> uh, yo, man, real shit. A lot <laughs> of people is, that did the grimy shit with Philly, I mean, did about the go down they got takes, people, they, people are turning on him do you know that or people are turning witness on him there's a head of um i don't know if it's the head of warner i'm gonna fuck this completely up so if anybody's listening you're whatever there's a head of something one of these big companies who's a woman or she got this name that we all probably know i think it's like india or some shit but she's turning on him like or turning witness against him what it is is this bro and I'm going to stop monopolizing the conversation, but I just, I have a lot to say about it. When you do all the shit and niggas was around you and somebody, come, it's like doing a murder, bro. If you was in the car and your man did the murder, you drove the car or he came to see you afterwards and told you, you might have nothing to do with it, but you was around it and you knew about it. And they come to you saying, be about to give you a hundred years. We're going to give you 100 years unless you tell us what you know about this dude. Right? I'm not saying you would do this. I'm saying that this is how they do things. When they come to you and say, I'm about to give you 100 years, no matter what, because we want this guy. We don't want you. We want him. But I'll give you 100 years if I have to. Unless you give us information. That's what's happening with Diddy. They want him. Yeah. They want him bad. Or else we wouldn't know about it. You understand what I'm saying? It's all over the news. Social media is the new news, but it's all over the actual news that they raided his house. Them niggas just don't be chilling like, oh shit, is this, let's go. Them niggas get tipped off. Yo, we about Watch to go this. Raid I'm about to read you. I'm about to read Three you something. Of I'm about to read you something. Dream Hampton. This is what I just found out about this rape case. Dream Hampton, the producer of Surviving R. Kelly, told the Times last year that an accountant has arrived for the the bad boy found a puff is done, she said. The suit against Comb 
also shows a desperate backlash, the Me Too movement, and the legal culture changes has came in, came with it. He had endured the impact. Even if the allegation of sexual assault and harassment do not make the daily headlines the way they did in 2017, the reckoning is ongoing and the industry is likely to remain immune forever. Like, what is the lady from Survivor R. Kelly got to <laughs> Why is she now in the case talking about Diddy is done? Because well, the niggas done. Know, they know shit. They all, they all know shit. And the thing is, They've been saying this for years. You know, you, I mean, I've been looking at, we all been looking at this security guard, been speaking for a long time. That's how we heard the fucking Ja Rule story. Yeah. These niggas been talking for a long time, <laughs> doing interviews, telling you like, no, this nigga's a real freak. And he do shit that, it's not just about him being gay. It's about him doing like, like, it's crazy shit. And when they get him, they gonna get him and they want him. And I don't think it's for I'm that stuff. You. I think it's for business shit. I'm going to ask you, mm -hmm. at what point is people going to start looking at this shit? It's like, yo, I'm about to walk into this room and I got these people telling me that it can make me a millionaire and I can do anything I want and I'll be untouchable. Ain't, when is somebody going to finally say like... I'm going to answer your question. I'm not untouchable. Because like, you got to think. I'm pretty sure they gave Diddy that same thing. I know R. Kelly. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. R. Kelly walked through that same door through too. And they said, go ahead. They said, go ahead, Diddy. You can have sex with underage because supposedly he had sex with an underage woman that was 17 got flown out. Bro. Who? R. Kelly. Tomorrow said, R. Kelly? R. Kelly been at no, a sex with I'm talking about Diddy. Go I'm talking about oh, Diddy. Right. Somebody about said, about this is it's a soup in the cake. I got the shit. Somebody, where is it at? Uh, I forget, the young lady name. I was just looking at this shit, but she was seventeen. She was flown out. Talk about Diddy flew her out. Yeah, man. She was seventeen. I'm, it's like I'm, I'm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. If I was seventeen, if I was seventeen, I'll fuck Alicia Keys too. Like you understand what I'm saying? Like that type. Of, I'm not well, saying it, that it's right. Well, I'm, I'm about to. I'm about to break it down. Her name. She wants to be known as Jane Doe. Says that in 2003, when she was 17. Combs had had her flown on a private jet to New York where the two where he and two other men gave her drugs, alcohol, and raped her. Mm -hmm. Suit is filed in February. Producer Rodney Jones Jr. said Combs uh, grabbed the genitalia without consent and forced that. him to solicit sex workers perform sexual acts. Solicit sex workers and perform sex acts to please pleasure of Mr. Combs. This is you get what I'm saying? It's like, yo, they had to tell you, like, you're fucking untouchable. Do what you want to do. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna you're tell good. you, I'm gonna tell you. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. What ahead. happened? I'm listening. No, so you me, think I'm that they're you. actually you think they actually, yeah, you should late. You think that you're actually they're actually breaking it down like, hey man, you're gonna be on that's not what's happening. That's not what's happening. I'm because I'm gonna tell you why it might seem like that. So I'm not disproving what you're saying. I just want to tell you why it seems like that. These rooms, if if I want, if I'm the devil and I want to trick you, I don't actually have a room, right? And I know that's not what you mean, but for the people who are listening or watching, I don't have a room. If I'm the if I'm behind this this whole thing, it's not a room. There's conversations and there's opportunities. There's you raising up through the ranks. In a real business, and somebody saying that guy, he got yeah. it. That guy got it. Okay, I can use him to further my agenda and our agenda to run the world like we're supposed to do, right? Like, like they want to do, like they do already. He's the guy. We're gonna put him out there because he's just the perfect guy to run our offense. Okay, it's not them saying, "Yo, man, we gonna make you untouchable." It's this man being in that position and and liking power. You understand what I'm saying? If you let me ask you a question, Sandusky. Okay, let's yeah. use the worst, worst nigga of the worst. If I'm the assistant coach, I've been here for years. I've been working with Joe for years, and I just been touching motherfuckers. Like I tried it a little bit and I ain't get caught. 
What am I going to keep doing over 30 fucking years? I'm not just going to touch these motherfuckers. I'm going to fuck them because nobody's catching me. I can... So it's not somebody telling you like, yo, you can do what you want. It's nigga, me, I've been doing this shit and I'm me, nigga. What the fuck they going to do to me? I want this nigga over here. Damn, I'm going to try him. Because somebody should have whipped Puff ass, right? All these niggas and is gangsters, can't. right? But, no, right. They can't what whip I'm his ass because like, you want to be a rapper, motherfucker? I grabbed your balls the fuck. I tell every motherfucker in this no, industry see, see, not to fuck you, with you but they don't you do going, that you going you going that way but i'm telling you that i just think that it's it's not words that's all i'm saying is like it's not words like that like yo i'm gonna do it's more of yo i'm gonna try you i'm gonna try you because i can and i might say some shit like that like yo niggas ain't gonna fuck with you but really i got i got i got a whole infrastructure of people around me that makes sure you ain't going to do shit. You get what I'm saying? And the phone yeah. calls happen later. Yo. Yo, him that y'all was fucking with? Nah. The phone calls happen later. That's all I'm saying. Because what I find what I find is funny. Like, I'm watching interviews on Club Shay Shay of guys talking about who was on there. Uh, You know, how industry guys have tried them. And they will never name the names. I don't want to give the name away. That's say always a favorite. I, I don't like dropping names. I don't like doing name dropping. But you'll name drop a motherfucker that's almost on the same level with you or a little bit beneath you. You'll name drop that motherfucker. Why won't you name drop the motherfucker doing the shit to you? Because I'm pretty sure, like, it's talking about Diddy. Too. Yeah, well, talking about Diddy, you got the fucking the Nickelodeon dude. Like, uh, Dan what's Schneider, what is he doing Dan now? We what we were supposed to watch that. Well, so I know. We, talk about that. Well, I'm just saying we're just gonna touch on it. what is he doing right now? What is his well, job title right now? Is he is he homeless? No, I'm asking y'all a question. Homeless. Anybody like no. is he no, still? I'm not too sure. I don't still, think he's producing is he any still shows. Alive, but I, might be I think he. Can. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, yeah, you know he's what I'm not. Saying? He wasn't like a motherfucker wasn't, like that um, allowed to exist. I mean, yeah, he's 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 a he. Dan Schneider was weird, and he did some off the wall shit, but he never was like convicted, or they never like had any type of investigation on him for anything like that. You know what I'm saying? He was accused of just, you know, putting adult humor in these Nickelodeon shows that was just when you look at them, it's like, oh man, they're kids. That's Where's crazy you? to make kids do that. I'm, I'm going to tell you something funny. You know I mean? The reason and, and I brought I, him up what's going on. The reason I brought him up and brought Nickelodeon up because Diddy had a, which they just recently put out, a skit on the show called yeah, I remember all that. And it was a kid laying on the couch and they tried to wake the kid up and they couldn't wake the kid up so they poured uh, sour milk on his face and it looked like somebody came all on his thing. He was just covered in all this white shit. So they say, yo, what would Diddy do? So they asked, they went to Diddy, asked Diddy, like, yo, we did this. He said, did you pour the sour milk on Diddy? Yeah, we did this, we did that. He said, stick a helicopter down his pants. The kids go back, yeah, get a crazy. helicopter, lift the kid pants up. This is a video on all that. Stick the helicopter yeah. on his pants, down his pants, lift his pants up. The kids come back, Diddy, it didn't work. Gives him the remote control. Hey, you need this. They turn the helicopter, it's the controls on. Yeah, you this and now this shit you get it what i'm saying it it hits so, i guess it hits your dick <laughs> but this is but this is the video of this all that crazy. and nickelodeon is like yo is wild what you got fuck? kids you got kids lifting up another kid's pants and shoving it wasn't like they shoved the toy like push a toy in there like the nigga on half the kid arm with inside this kid's pants to like to put the toy in there in the front of his pants, not the back of his pants, even though that probably worse. I mean, but still, I don't thing. know which one's worse. Neither, both of them is worse. He should have put the shit. Why he couldn't put the shit in the nigga's pocket? You know what I'm saying? Or, or but, none of that. <laughs> or none of that. Why did they say, "Hey, man, throw a hot bucket of a bucket of you know a bucket of ice and cold a bucket of ice cold water on him?" And he had definitely. Right. Then he automatically went to he 
it ain't everything he said. Here you go, gave the kids a toy. Stick this I mean, down his pants. I'm pretty on, sure bro. all that was that was, was written by. That was producer. Yeah, he yeah. didn't go in there and be like, written "Hey, I got a bright idea. Let me put some let's right. put some helicopters in kids' pants." And he wasn't. A I don't think that was him. Like, oh, I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna just get my freak shit off on all that. No, that was no, Dan but Snyder and the rest of them being getting they freak shit off because they've been getting they freak shit off. You know what I'm saying? Bro, but I'm all saying, of them niggas. What would you do? What would you do? I don't think fifty. Be like, think about I'm gonna do what? Fifty be like, nigga, I'm gonna do what? I don't, I don't think no, in kids, the time frame you think fuck. about it. You definitely oh, you think aren't that. thinking. Of, uh, you, you as a kid. Contact. As a kid, you're not thinking about not that. A grown man. He it is a grown man. You all the grown, grown men in there, me? all the grown men in there had the same idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're talking just so. you know. even if even the, the 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 moms and stuff, I don't think you're thinking about it like that. You're just thinking like, oh, this is kids. And then when you when you look at it with the the hindsight is 2020, when you look at it with the scope of it, you say, Oh shit, that was weird. I don't think yeah. you're looking at it in the moment like because it's a wacky show. So you're yeah. thinking they just doing uh, something wacky until you put it all together 20 years later and you say, Oh, that was some weirdo shit. Not only that, but their kids is getting that bag right then in the 90s. They're 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 putting their kids are yeah. set up to be television stars with not, the not guy. The <laughs> yeah, apparently not the black ones, with the exception of, of Keenan Thompson. Right, yeah. Uh, but they, you're setting yeah, your kids up. For a future, oh shit! He went into the room, bro. <laughs> that nigga ain't aged in twenty years. He went into the room. That nigga was 25, 25 years ago. Am I wrong? <laughs> he did oh, look yeah. like a grown ass man on the teenage hey, yeah. show. He was acting he was. in the fucking nineties, nigga. Are you kidding me? Yeah, in the nineties, yeah, he's way older than us. Bro, oh, no, no, he no, was no, 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 years ago. Not really, I mean, he started, nah, he, he started, and he was, he was a teenager. I think he started, he started way before, like 12 way before, or 13. Uh, yeah, he started way before all that, bro. He was on like other shit. I remember him. Yeah. yeah bro, come on. What year was all that out? 94. So, yeah, he, right, maybe at 94. Wrong. It was like it aired in ninety four. Nah, Drake, because in ninety four, I was only, I was only, uh, I was eleven. I was eleven in ninety four. So he might, no, nah, he might have been maybe two years older, than, three years older than me. Maybe been like thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, I'm forty. Should be, he should be forty. He should at least be fifty one right now. Nah, he's not. Do we look it? He's forty five. He's, it exactly. Him. He's 45. All right. All right. All right. He's all right. Actor, man. But he definitely went to a couple pizza parties. If you really want to put your tinfoil hat on, then you could. Right. Right. <laughs> let's, let's move. Let's move this. Let's you, move this oh, you must not know what let's that means. You don't know what that means. Nah, I don't. Mm. I don't want to know what it means. It's some Break it down for him. Freak boy. Go, go, go. No, let's, put your, let's let's put your tinfoil hat on. It, it's all got to do with the same thing. Mm -hmm. If you want to know what the pizza parties is, my nigga. It got to, it got to do with kids, man. And oh, I was man. I was going to bring this up, Go but bring it up. it's a lot of that type of shit that's been going around. But nobody been put up on charges for that, and it's like real shit, right? Real shit. And motherfuckers have not been pulled up on you, but Diddy has been pulled up. That's why I said this is a business thing. This is not because he's this. Is, he just happens to be doing all this freak, nasty, terrible shit. Allegedly. Allegedly. But Allegedly. there's other motherfuckers just, who are known to be doing worse, but them niggas is living scot-free. This is business. Actually. This is business. <laughs> well, the reason yeah, these niggas is, yo, I don't care how y'all, y'all say it's not, yo, it's a fucking, it's a fucking skin tone thing. I don't care how y'all want to look at it. That's, that's a reason why fucking America goes go bomb these other countries for oil. These motherfuckers don't like these Saudi princes, but they gotta, they gotta fuck with them because they fucking, they fucking billionaires and they own tigers and shit. Like, they got money. We ain't born, right, we don't you gotta, come you gotta from money. You to where you're going. Leave yeah. me where you're going okay, with this one. Black people in America don't come from fucking money. We don't. We are the biggest consumers in America. We don't come from money. So, in order to get money from us black people, 
you got to put certain ones up on the pedestal that who you think are for you to make you go buy, buy and consume products from white motherfuckers. Because let's be real. You look at uh, Asian America, they all shopping. They shop in their own town. The ones that are real Asians, they shop. They, they money don't leave their town. Jewish Jewish people, their money don't leave their town. No, it, no, 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 no. Every, every, the Jewish uh, people's money is... Or whatever. Maybe I, maybe, yeah, I, yeah. Maybe, I, maybe I shouldn't say. Yeah, maybe. Don't say it. But their money circulates okay. amongst them. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, They're you, not going to go buy... They, you you spending their money right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm spending... Get what I'm... Okay, cool. <laughs> but they stay to themselves. Chinese Americans stay to themselves. All these other... <laughs> we the only fucking race that goes out and we, we spend so much. So what they say? All right, cool. I need the youth. All right, Puffy, you're going to get the youth for me. All right, you, you, you're you a rapper. You're going to get the youth for me. Boom, boom, boom. Look at T.D. Jakes. He he allegedly was in some shit. You're going to get these old-ass church folks that I need. All right? <clears throat> Middle-aged people. All right, y'all, y'all, y'all are into the kind of the pro-black thing. We get it. Y'all starting to wake up. Y'all starting to kind of y'all youth. All right, here. We're going to give you Oprah and Tyler Perry. Y'all get that crowd. The minute any of you motherfuckers get out of line, yo, we're going to take this from you. You, that's that's the thought that these motherfuckers have. But they are steady pulling from us. They got us on all levels. Old, young, and in the middle. They got they got something for us. They got something for us. They got it, whether it's Oprah for the middle class, I mean the middle age, Steve Harvey for the older people, T.D. Jakes for the young, for the church goers, uh, Diddy coming up. Who's next? If Jane Diddy's about to get moved out the spot, maybe they aged out, so they don't need them no more. Who's next? They're gonna prop up and say, "Hey, bro, you are, you are the new Diddy. You are the new. You rule this music industry now. Everybody looks up to you. Who, who, who's ascending right now? Who's just like, damn man, they, this, this motherfucker? Whoever they coming say, out of nowhere, is, man. Yeah, like you putting too much. You gonna see whoever, him? Whoever they say, like they'll they'll sit, they'll sell you whatever they want, and you and put on whoever they say if we if we're taking that 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 side of it you know what i mean but it's think like, about it. out, out of nowhere he's gonna have a million followers out of, out of nowhere he's gonna be in everybody's video i don't know where this person gonna be on everybody's song in the background or on their song out of nowhere but that's how they always come they come out of nowhere nothing against kevin hart but real shit i really did not know i've seen kevin hart in 40 year old version I kind of heard of him. Somebody said, yeah, he was in this movie called Paper Sh Soldiers. Really didn't fucking like, this nigga just all of a sudden, this nigga is the biggest comedy thing ever. I was like, I was like I, I'm he trying to think no, back. Like, he did it with no talent? Nah, he's talented. He, don't get it wrong. All these people have talent. They, you, I'm sorry, you got to have some level with Jay is a fucking Jay is a fucking monster with the bars, but it was one point in time. When my cousin came from New York. This is 90, this is 96, 97. My cousin came from New York. I was like, yo, you gotta hit this nigga Jay-Z. This is reasonable doubt was coming out. What the fuck is like nigga? Who Jay-Z? What are you talking about? Nigga, I'm on rough. I'm on, I'm on this rough rider shit, right? I'm on this woo shit right now and this in this because woo starting and woo just did the double LP. On this woo shit right now, this these rough riding niggas coming. Who the fuck is a Jay Z? You know that's how, I, that's it happens, how I felt right, about it. How I, I, I understand, but yo, is let's be real. Some niggas do just come out of fucking left fucking so, field. Because well, even with your social media shit, you see everybody who should be on the rise right now. No, like the no, boy so, Big Josh should be on the rise. So Jay Jay Z, I don't think that's a, a fair assumption because he, yeah. he didn't, it's he not, not it's not out, he didn't come out of left field. But yeah. let me let me let me let me give you more of what you're saying though. Back then, if we really want to have a conversation about it, the mainstream or the higher ups didn't know how influential rap was because at the time it wasn't as influential as it is right now. Yeah. Right now, it's the number one genre, right? Mm -hmm. It has even the white people 
on like on the whole thing. So what that means is we can use that to influence. Rock and roll was a little harder because everybody didn't, you know, like I'm talking about hard, like crazy rock and roll. Mainstream rock and roll, yes, but it didn't have everybody. Rap has everybody. So I think as time went on, that's when they started understanding like, okay, certain people in the hip hop community are going to be the ones that we, you know, kind of, hey, we're going to offer things to. So that's that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's a like, I think it's it's a plan, but I think it's more like, all right, well, hey, I know it's if I'm the guy running shit, hey, make sure that puffy yeah. guy, make sure he gets that. So I don't think it's them saying you're going to be the most powerful. I just I mean, think yeah. that they know who to appoint and they keep them in line, obviously, for with things like this. So so let me let me continue with that. With the internet age, it is so much. So much easier to tell you who's going to be who we who we want to appoint, because all we got to do is give you three million followers because it's all computer now. It's like the fucking the, the slot machine at the fucking casino. <clears throat> Nigga, the shit hit when I say it hit. You might think it hit, but I want it to hit. You know what I'm saying? You putting in work, but I want it to hit now. You everywhere. Why else do you think it? I'm, I'm going to land. Just give me some sec. Give me a little bit. It's, it's going to hit when I say it hit. Why you think there's so many talented people, but it's that one person you like, why is this person everywhere? Every fucking where? Why? Like, there's mad other people who do the same shit or do something better, but this person is everywhere. Who the fuck is Charlie D'Amelio? Y'all don't know who that is, and that's okay. This person has like a billion followers on TikTok. Just a little white girl. Just a little white girl. It hit when I say it hit. Nigga, hold on, hold on. I'm about to land. I'm about to land. What audience she, well, she catered to? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. White, black, all that shit. White, black, all that shit. So <laughs> billions. So this this is this little white girl was able to generate money for our whole family. The Demilios. That's it's a thing. You understand? So I'm 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 building it up so I can so I can let you know what else is going on. Uh just one second. So they the button get hit when they say it get hit. And for certain people that they wanted to get, like people who have that influence. Paul's there. You guys aren't on social media and I get it. There's There was this girl called Woe Vicky, right? Woe Vicky made mentions of this party. It's, it was an annoying ass white girl who, who talked like she was black. Very annoying. She talked she like she was Atlanta? black. Yeah. I, know, I think I know you're talking about. Yeah. So she like was everywhere at one point. Was everywhere. Right? She was invited to one of them parties. And guess what? Guess what she is now? A devout Christian. You understand what I'm saying? You you, you understand what I'm trying yeah. to say? So yeah, man, listen, bro. I think it's yeah. I think it's like it's like right now, I think it's happening to Kim Kardashian. She's looking at this shit like I, I wish I never I'm just saying she's She's falling. She's close I mean, to the party. Yeah. yeah, but she's kind of falling off. I'm just saying, you you're about to see. Because I look at my kids, my kids, my dumbass son will see somebody with five million followers or whatever, and that motherfucker can tell my son, yeah, you got you know a hood nigga. You know, you gotta go raid the fucking the wild wild. Right, we about to go fuck this wild wild, and they go fuck a wild wild. This kid don't get arrested. Nothing, nothing happened. You never hear nothing about anything happening to this kid, but they fucked this Wawa and he's and his followers are still going up. They don't ban him. Then a bunch of our black kids go out and go do this shit. And go fuck a Wawa up. It's like, yo, it's like one is meant to spend our money, and two is another thing just to keep us checked is in line is yo, yo, these fucking black people are fucking animals. They need to be checked by the police, but on the same token, we need their money. So they no. do every, they do everything. To, even though slavery is gone, with this fucking internet and shit, is like, yo, man, slavery is so easy now. It's like For I can do whatever. Everyone. I can make you work as hard as you want. Work hard. I mean, work hard at your job. Spend all your money with us. All your hard-earned money comes back to us. I can make your fucking kids. 
the animal and savages, and I can have the cops keep them in check. The ones who think they're too fucking uppity and think they're too good for you, I can make you your black ass denounce them as fucking black people. Shame them in their own fucking community so they can't even come back and tell you a positive message. You 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 look I, so let, let me let me ask you a real question, bro. Right? There's two things with that. I don't think they think we animals, yo. I think so, there's some shit. I'll put my tinfoil hat on for real, for real. I think there's some other shit that we just don't know. That it's a reason why shit is targeted towards darker skinned people. It's a reason. It's a big reason. And it's not a reason. Be, it's not just hate. It's not just none of that shit. I think it's a whole spiritual reason why. Well, Cat, Cat Williams why? said it himself. He said, we, Cat Williams said it himself. He said, I can say white America, but they, you're not black. So I got to say what you are. Y'all got this country, not all white people, but white America. They say white America or the races, whatever. Make you look this way and you do this right here while they still know look over here, which is your truth, and they know your truth. They make sure that you do everything in your power not to look back at this truth. So they keep steering you in this direction. Because it seems like every time somebody gets close to our truth, they die, they're fucking labeled fucking crazy. So ask yourself why. Ask yourself why. That's what because I'm, that's what I'm it's like. I'm at the age now where I hear people like fucking Cat Williams and some. I was like, yo, man. Yeah, he looks crazy, but I wonder is he putting on this facade so they I also they don't like, get my truth from Cat Williams. I'm not saying, but I'm saying, <laughs> I'm just saying some of these people they make them look crazy, mm -hmm. and you say to yourself, mm, they true. look Very fucking true. crazy, but I'm pretty sure. They're looking crazy, so they're getting the truth out to some people, but a lot of majority of people look at this black motherfucker as crazy, so they won't kill them. They won't kill them all. It's like, they're like, ah, oh, you're fucking crazy. Keep telling you the truth. Nobody believes you. Like, you know, you get yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, yo, I got to play this that. fucking role. I got to play this role so I don't get killed. Even the Kanye West, to somewhat of a point, some of the shit he says makes he was like, yo, Adidas dropped me because I said this about these people. And they said I was anti-Semitic where the fucking Adidas was started by Nazis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you people you know what listen, I'm saying? But he looks people don't crazy, want to... but it's like... No, he, do, he looks 100% crazy. <laughs> but, but guess what, right? If Diddy can be made to be a pedophile, allegedly, can't Kanye West be made to look crazy? Yeah. Yeah, you get it's it's I'm really you, hey, hey hey hold on hold on hold on real quick real quick real quick real quick you know I like to talk bring it back to that crazy shit go ahead Dave Chappelle was that where you was going yeah no okay. no no right. I was gonna tell you something about a, a mafia boss that played crazy in front of the feds but was still running still running the mafia people thought he lost his fucking mind so the feds eased up on him because they thought he lost his mind. He would act crazy and look crazy, but he was still running shit. When they oh. they still let him go on running shit, he was like, oh, he's fucking, he lost it. He doesn't have control of this shit. Nobody's going to, but he was still running. So I'm saying like, yo, you got to play, maybe black people are pulling for that. Yo, I got to play crazy so they don't come after me, don't kill me. Well, I was more referring to how they can make you look crazy. And I was saying- Oh yeah, that too. With the Dave Chappelle shit, there was like- Smoking crack. They they told him like yo by the listen by the time you actually Cat Williams probably told us he told the story he was like by the time by you time get home Africa. we can make you we can make people think that you crazy as hell smoking crack by the time you after he turned down the fifty million dollars like by the time you get home we can ha and that's what happens I do think that hey we can make you damage goods and that's just regular corporations who just are too big to fail. Like we can make you damage goods. If you, you know, say no to the wrong person. I think that happens to women in the industry all the time. We can make you damage goods. That's easy. And I think we control the, the media outlets, thing, nigga. Yeah. Only thing. The only thing I reason, still I think that's the only reason. Yeah. Only reason Dave career got saved because social media wasn't that prevalent at that time. 
So it's like it's like you're not watching the news and you're not watching everything to keep up on it when they was trying because it was a point I'm like this nigga gotta be smoking crack. He turned out fifty million dollars, but you kind of like let it go and you forgot about it. If Dave would have did that same thing now today, oh, it'd have been. AI generated fucking people talking about them black people. AI would have been making fucking fucking posters. Dave smokes crack. He turned out fifty million dollars. Dave is crazy. He would have never been able to rebound his career. And that's what they. That's what happened to Diddy. Diddy. I was gonna say, saying, what if they? I that got to Diddy? the fucking. I got the fucking tapes. I'm gonna release this shit. Y'all niggas can't do nothing to me, <laughs> nigga. Please. Which. Which brings me back to the, what I said off camera. My barber, my new barber, barber. I keep saying Barbara. Yeah. Um, may, his name might be Barbara. Um, he was saying, y'all think that they went and they they raided three houses: New York, uh, L.A., and Miami. Y'all think that they were looking for evidence to you know about Diddy? No, they were get there to get. The evidence that Diddy had of the people in power. Think about that. Mm. Somebody's saying that there's a tape there. Like, yo, there's a tape. Yo, there's a tape. Diddy fucking somebody. There's a tape. It's Diddy, bro. I got three houses. No, it's not even about who cares. It's Diddy. He got three houses. I'm a, I'm a mogul and I, and I do freak shit. First of all, somebody probably got it on a camera phone. Okay? Yeah. Second of all, I'm going to keep tapes of me doing shit in my house or I'm going to put it somewhere else. Nigga, I got mad properties or mad shell corporations. You think I'm going to leave it in my crib so I can just go watch it every day? Or is it more plausible that hey, y'all think y'all going to do this to me? I got every one of y'all on tape and nigga saying, word? Mm-hmm. Get dead. And they probably said, and they probably said <laughs> yo, I heard, this, I heard this nigga is taking his trip out of town. Let's raid his house so he looks like he's fleeing. That's you know plausible. I mean? That's plausible. That's plausible. <laughs> now you got your tinfoil hat on, my guy. Meanwhile, he he taking a flight to a safe deposit box to make sure it's all in there. Yeah. I mean, oh, oh, one important thing he did sell, which how do we know about this, by the way? We know about this. It's crazy. He sold all of his shares in revolt. Right, right at right, right as this was happening. Mm. Mm. Come on, man. It, Let's talk. Let's talk. I, it's just, bro. It's just, man. I, it's just, it's so much going on, man. And, and I'm, it's, it's just crazy. It's like, yo, all this shit is going down Nash. now. He liquidate Nash says, put it out on social media. Black people, like always, like we always fucking do. Let's go turn on. Let's turn on the black man, like. I'm sorry oh, when I, I'm sorry when the white people do get in trouble. A couple of news outlets carry it. You real? I got white friends on social media. I don't ever see them reposting uh, Sandusky or some shit like that. I don't, I don't. I don't see them making memes about them. I don't see black people making memes about them, nothing. Oh, but was oh Pill Cosby. Let's do the Pill Cosby jokes. Da, 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 da. You hey, was black, one of them. <laughs> I got I all mine from you, bro. <laughs> Again, I'm saying I'm was, I was, but it's like, yo, when I start seeing Diddy and all this shit, the I hate you said, but the diddler and all, I'm like, I'm not reposting this shit. <laughs> I, I stopped reposting shit after the Bill Cosby. I stopped reposting a lot of shit that tears these dudes. I'm not getting into that shit. You're not getting that shit on my timeline. I don't give a fuck about it, cause I'm gonna repost the 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 Dan Snyder shit. Yeah, I repost that, but I'm not gonna repost it as like, hey, you guys are so busy looking at Diddy. Why nobody's talking about this? God, I don't repost that. I'm just gonna repost. I'm just gonna post some of him doing some fucking foul shit. I'm not gonna be like, hey, black people. We got to stop tearing down our black people and let's tear down the white people. It's like, no. I don't, I, that right there is counterproductive. It's like, you, I don't want to do that. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to I'm not gonna be like, hey, let's stop. Let's, it's like, no, nah, I just don't give a fuck. A, like, white people don't give a fuck about when white people do fucked up shit. They don't repost it. They just watch it on the news and it goes away. 
why can't we do the same? All our shit's all over. Every fucking radio station doing it. No. Us right now is a podcast doing it, but we're not trying to really tear it. We tore Diddy down the first time. This time we were trying to look in like, yo. Because it seems, it seems. Why? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, why? Why now? It's like, why? Yep. And that's what this podcast was. Because the first one was funny. I, I, the reason I say that because I would just listen to Donald Rollins on Rogan and he say like man he said only black media is the only thing is like they everything they dwell on it has to be negative and that's the only way you yeah. pop as anything successful is you negative Joe Rogan was like I don't do that he said I'm always super positive he was like Joe gotta I, stop, I, I, Joe has to stop but he, it, but he is he, he doesn't he, had he said black cat- media. No, 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 no. Donnell Rollins said that. Joe right. didn't mention it. Joe stayed away from it. Joe just like it. Because I'm looking at Joe. I'm like, Joe just had Cat Williams on the show. He could have easily did the route of Shannon Sharp and said, let's talk about all the fucking fucking non-funny comedians. Uh, Cat Williams instead. No. They just sat there and had a conversation smoking yeah. weed, talking about whatever they, all his guests yeah. come on there. I watched. Yeah, you know I'm saying like Donnell Rollins still was. He said black media. So Joe saying Joe Rogan saying I don't do that. Exactly, you're not black media. Yeah. So I, it's cool, but he's like he asked, and he was like Joe. He's like, <laughs> and you don't understand. Black Twitter dwells. He said Joe, you're not on black Twitter, so you don't know. They dwell on this shit. That's what they do. Joe said, "What's black Twitter?" <laughs> yeah, he did. He, the nigga didn't even know what Jonah means. I didn't know what Jonah means till about what? a couple years ago. Joni means cracking, cracking on the nigga. It's a fucking down south shit, like Joni. Yeah, exactly. It's called Joni. It's called the same thing as just cracking on niggas, busting jokes. Is that's their meaning of down south? So I know that. This, what I'm saying. Yeah, I realize that. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm basically right because everybody I seen, same people I see going Joe Rogan. Have a great fucking time. But if I watch a club, Shay Shay is like, yo, it's, I, and, I, and I fuck with Shannon, but it's like, yo, nigga, you are the comedian's super beef outlet. He hit a lick. Like, he hit him like, he hit a lick. It's like, yo, you realize that you thrive on comedians beefing with each other. You going to do the he same just thing? had, <laughs> I hope. I don't want to. You I'm would. Yeah, you know why? Really don't want to. Cause you, I don't cause want to. It's the same thing as the Dan Schneider, the Puffy being on Dan Schneider. You don't realize in the moment that that's what you're doing. All you know is, yeah. look at them views. That's why the world is fucked up. Look at them views. This Man, worked. Re- Other people going to call to do the same thing. You're not going to see it as I'm perpetuating comedians beefing. No, I saw Cat Williams get his shit off. My name is Irvin Johnson, and I'm a comedian who want to get my shit. I'm Corey Holcomb. I don't like Corey Holcomb. I'm Corey Holcomb. I want to get my shit off. Yo, I'm trying to get on the sh- sh- Shane, I'm trying to get on the show. Come on just, up. I need guests anyway. It's, it's just, that's all, man. man. It's like, damn, can we, ever, can we ever get... I, I I gotta wrap this up because I just want to know: Can we ever get out? It's like, is it any way no. for us to get out of it? <laughs> you you know what you do? You be the best. I say this all the time, and I say this is what everybody should do because I do feel like this is all a distraction for all of our people, for all the people. I'm not even just talking about black people. I'm talking about the people of God, the people who are, you know, what I'm saying who who had that good vibration in them. You be concentrate on being the best person you could be every day. Treat people how treat people how you think you would want to be treated and just try to be the best person you to be y'all y'all dads be the best dads take care just be good people whenever you feel yourself doing something that you probably shouldn't do don't do it that's what we do and if each person does that then we could be a little bit better that's it i hear you and and another thing just before we wrap this up shannon club shasha i ain't taking no shots at you i'll fuck with you I don't want to look like I'm down to you or anything like that. It's just like, I, you know what I mean? I, and if you take it the wrong way, you, you probably won't see this video. But I'm just saying, dog, because I don't like, I don't, I'm trying to get out of the mode of trying to even tear down other black people, dog. Even Nick that's Cannon? That's why we want, fuck Nick Cannon. 
Nah, no, no I'll, reason I'll, at I'll all. Stop. Y'all always bring him up. Like, like I, I just said. I mean, you I said, said that. Like, you Nick just Cannon. said you were trying to stop. I, I, I always play play the Dick Cannon joke. The Nick Cannon joke will go on forever, but I really got no beef with him. He's he doing positive shit, man. We you know, know that. I, mean? <laughs> I just call him. I, I just say what I say no, just to be no, funny. I know you even exist. <laughs> yeah, so I don't have but, yeah, from Nick Cannon. <laughs> nah, but I, I we gotta I gotta wrap this up, man. You know that was time, you know. I appreciate everybody checking this episode out, man. And and if you are in the black media space, hopefully we can find a way to get away from the negative shit. I just hope it's possible, bro. Real shit. I do. Like I really do, because I I noticed we start doing this shit and like all the fucking views going up. It's like let me tell you, but I mean, that's not what I really want to be. It's that's not where that's happen. where they. I'm about to say that's where they find the checks at. You know what I mean? That's that's what controls a lot of when you open up your phone or turn on. Even when you turn on your TV, you use all that shit for social media now. You know what I mean? You looking for laughs? You looking for drama? You look at the, you looking to be in somebody's business without having to worry about actually We're interacting talking. with them. You the know what I mean? Talking. The world is shut fun. all that shit down and then and then reset life. That's how you're gonna get rid of the shit that you want to get rid of, kid. The dinosaurs didn't listen, Kev. They didn't. <laughs> they, didn't they didn't. They didn't. We're we're God fucked about up. Seriously. that meteor. Seriously. God is coming. God got that meteor lined up. He said, motherfucker, I should just drop it. Jesus, I'm not listening to you no more. I'm about to drop <laughs> this shit. <laughs> God looked down that shit. <laughs> Fucked up. Let's drop this media, nigga. Yo, God, not not destroying the earth because Jesus said, "Wait, wait, 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 wait." Yeah. It's fucking insane. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Give hold me up. one more millennia. <laughs> I got this. I got this. Jesus, Peter is lined up. I got him lined up for Tuesday. Yeah, he's like, I got him lined up for Tuesday, twenty twenty five. He wants to go. <laughs> Yo. I, you know what though, I don't want to pay the cancellation. And that that's Seth MacFarlane, yo, that's a check right there. <laughs> Having Jesus tell God, wait, 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 wait. Give me one. That's more my joke. I got this. If y'all see that joke anywhere else, y'all know that was my joke. All right, just letting it go, tell letting him, it out there. But we out, we out, man. Peace, man. Enjoy y'all. Enjoy y'all weekend. <laughs>